Well, hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. I'm Fiona Lang Sharp, IBCLC Director of Communications and MC here at Gold Learning. We're back here again today talking about our Gold Lactation Online Conference 2022. I have a special guest here who has been with us before, Jacqueline Kinzer, who is going to be speaking at our upcoming Gold Lactation Conference. She's going to be part of a very special add on package um, titled Clinical Support of Infant Sucking Skills. And this is a fabulous update on some content that we have coming your way so i can't wait for you to share it and you know uh, the clinical support of infant sucking skills is always a really popular topic um because we really want to do justice and understand what's happening inside those little ones mouths for sure so welcome back jacqueline it's great to have you here at gold Thank you, Fiona. I'm really thrilled to be back. It's always a great time. And this is one of my favorite topics. So I'm really excited to be a part of this add on package. Yeah, absolutely. And it's always a pleasure hosting you, of course, always so much to share. And I think uh, what's always great having you here is uh, the fact that you're so passionate and driven, you know, to make sure that folks get all the information that they need in order to make uh, good choices with their clients and inform them and those types of things. And I know this, uh, this is a little bit of an update for, you know, uh, both here at Gold and what's happening around the world. Some things, of course, never change. It's anatomy, but, you know, we're learning more. I think that's the key thing is that we've got, you know, more to share on this topic. And for folks who have, you know, never perhaps taken a, you know, a presentation, a class like this before, it's a great opportunity to really dive deeper into what can be uh, some of the solutions that we can provide, you know, um, some of the answers that are hidden, um, you know, in the infant uh, mouth, um, you know, during that early period of breastfeeding. Well, let's talk about that in just a minute, because, uh, you know, honestly, Jacqueline, it has been a hot minute since we saw you last time, but I feel like so much is happening. And I know you've been busy, as always, with the family, but uh, perhaps you would like to, you know, just tell us what's going on these days. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, my kids are getting older, so that's kind of crazy. Um, <laughs> they're in elementary school and it just seems like it's flown by. And yeah, I uh, also have just transitioned the way that I've been doing things with my clinical practice. So a couple of years ago, I was in a really serious car accident and I am still dealing with pain and injury from that. So I've transitioned my practice to all telehealth. Um, and, you know, I just had sadly really needed to give up that in-person care because it was causing me so much pain. Mm -hmm. um, but it's been really wonderful to go through how to translate those in-person hands-on skills to video and empower mothers to do things and, and families and parents to do things on their own and showing them and watching them do it and creating that self-efficacy. And now I've brought on some other lactation consultants on my team as well. And I've been coaching and guiding them and providing that same care. And that's just been wonderful to grow this knowledge and this field and access to care. And we've seen, we've literally seen families all over the world. I mean, we've had clients in Kenya and Uganda and Morocco and obviously the U.S. and Canada, but sure. they don't have resources local to them and they are finding us and it's just amazing. So now I've also transitioned into kind of a, a way to support families with breastfeeding that aren't really needing maybe or wanting or understanding the value of working with an IBCLC. And it's an online program for families called the Nurture Collective, which is still getting built, but it's essentially letting families know this is what's normal at every stage of the game, post-pregnancy, postpartum, everything related to lactation and an infant who is breastfeeding or otherwise receiving breast milk. And then here's, here's what problems you might expect at this stage. Here's some basic ways to deal with those, but here's also how to know when to get help. And so I think that those things are so valuable because it's, it's like this gap that I feel like we see as lactation consultants where we're over here. We know what we can do. We know the amazing value that we offer, but then parents are over here going, uh, I don't know if I need that, or I already saw one and they weren't very helpful, or I didn't get to spend a long time with them. So how are you different? And this will be that gap to go, 
you know, well, here's how to know if you really need one in, in a way, right. But also offer them that emotional support and that mental support of, gosh, you know, sometimes this whole business of feeding breast milk to our babies can be really hard and unsettling. So that's my passion project that I'm working on. And I feel like being able to work from home and do telehealth has given me that freedom to be able to do that now. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, you really are a gift to many of us who are still struggling with some of those elements of, you know, providing care um, in the field, but, you know, online, um, which, you know, for some folks was a quite a transition during, um, you know, COVID. And I know we are still dealing with lasting effects there. So, but the reality is, is that, you know, um, you know, and I was sorry to hear about your car accident, but it's also probably turned into something that you're that you can do which is really what we're all looking for we're always looking for the can do what are the solutions in my life because everybody has a season of what they need to you know go through in order to get to those next stages and it sounds like you found your way there so i mean what a wonderful gift to professionals um you know that you are as well but also finding ways to support families that are outside of networks and communities and you know don't have local you know uh networkings you know we forget that you know, right across, I mean, if we just look at North America itself, I mean, there's a lot of people that are really, truly isolated, they'd have to drive hours, you know, yes. in order to see folks. Um, and that is very clear. We, we've understood this for many, many years, but we haven't really had some solid solutions. This is fabulous. I'm so glad that you're able to you know, provide the care and uh, the education, but also then if they can transition to perhaps even seeing you, which I know is one of the goals is building that trust, right? Um, that folks, and I think that's um, that's a wonderful thing. Well, I can't wait to hear the updates. So, you know, keep us posted. Um, you know, great to hear you're working on some uh, education as well and building confidence in families always a goal of mine as well. So that's wonderful. Let's jump into the topic that you're going to be sharing at the, the Gold Lactation Conference. So again, this is part of the clinical support of infant sucking skills package, add-on package available for all registered um, participants here at the Gold Lactation Conference. You can find all the details on the website at goldlactation.com. You'll find it on your delegates dashboard with all of the information um, with the add-on packages. Jacqueline's going to be talking about inside the infant mouth oral assessment and function i mean jacqueline how important it is is it to do um you know a really good oral assessment oh you know i it, like it's extremely vital honestly i would say that you know there's obviously a lot of moving moving pieces to lactation right but i think what I've seen in practice is that the mechanics of nursing and bottle feeding as well, but um, are incredibly important. And really, I don't know that we can put that we can't put the benefits of receiving breast milk really above that because right. it matters, right? It matters how this baby moves their mouth in response to this external stimuli, whether it's the breast or bottle or other methods of feeding, because it shapes the growth of their face, of their airway, of their jaw. But it's also going to determine how well they're going to be able to sustain this method of feeding going forward. If we have a baby who's really struggling with this oral function and and there's something gone awry in there, either just the movement that they're making or their structure somehow. Um, the odds of them continuing to be able to nurse or, or even initiating it are much lower. And right. for so many families, they have a, a goal of nursing long term, right? Or providing mm -hmm. breast milk long term. We can't help them meet that goal if we're not addressing what's going on inside their infant's mouth. Right. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, it just, it's a clear reminder that, um, you know, that skill set is going to be really valuable. And, and if you've been struggling, so for those of you listening in, if you've been struggling with this, or perhaps you're a seasoned, you know, um, lactation professional, IBCLC, and you're, you're wanting to make sure that you're keeping up to date, this presentation, I think is really going to speak to you. Um, you know, it's really important that we're always working together collaboratively. I love, you know, debriefing with folks. That's why I love listening to, to Jacqueline because she really knows how to communicate well in her text. And I just uh, appreciate, you know, all that you've been able to really sort of update us on, um, you know, past and 
and present. So thank you, Jacqueline. It's just wonderful. Well, I look forward to hearing more, um, you know, about this topic, because certainly it's, um, you know, something I know we'll be able to put into practice right away. We've been talking a lot about this, Jacqueline, here at Gold Lactation this year is just, you know, the clinical skills are so valuable to folks and how much they appreciate watching our webinars and then you know, whether I, oh, I can go and see a client tomorrow and, you know, take this information with me. So I know that uh, that's how you roll. So it's absolutely fabulous. Thank you again for sitting down with me here today. It's just always great to hear what's happening with you. Absolutely. Thank you so much for inviting me to this conversation with you, Fiona. I love supporting anything regarding breastfeeding and lactation. And I love the mission that you guys have here at Gold. So it's just awesome to be able to share this knowledge and help some colleagues out. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we'll look forward to seeing you online. And again, uh, part of the clinical support of infant sucking skills package, you can add that on to your package right now if you're already registered. And if you haven't quite registered yet, don't worry, there's still lots of time. Uh, opening keynote is on April 4th. Now remember, all of our keynotes are open access and free for folks. So if you haven't been with us before and you're just catching this right now, don't hesitate. You can go online and register for free. Um, come and join you know, just so many lactation consultants from around the world who are collaborating together, um, you know, to just do better things in this world. I tell you, it's one, one family at a time. And that's how we roll here. Thank you again to Jacqueline Kinser for being with us here today. And of course, to all of our viewers, thank you for joining us. And we will look forward to seeing you online. Bye-bye for now, everyone.